In order to get an order confirmation message sent inside your chatbot, you will need to set up a webhook inside of Shopify. This will allow you that soon as a customer pays, you will get all the information about the order and the payment directly inside of UChat, and then you will be able to map all of the data that you like to and send the confirmation message. So the way to do this is by going towards the bottom left corner and press settings. From here, you will be able to scroll down until you find notifications. And if you scroll down here, you will end up at the webhook overview. From here, you can create a webhook and this webhook will have an event, the format, a URL, and you can also select your webhook API version. The event you are looking for will be the order creation. If we press this, we also need to make sure that the format has been set to JSON. So you have two values here, but we need the JSON value. Then for the URL, we are going back towards UChat and create a webhook. The way to do this is by going towards the tool section, go towards inbound webhooks, and then just create a new inbound webhook. Once you give it a name, it will show up in this overview and then all the way at the right you will have a button that says press edit from here you will get your webhook url and then we can go back towards shopify and paste that url in for the webhook api version you can just use the latest one should work fine and then we can press save in order to get all the needed information, we are going to do a test payment. I already have a test checkout already uh, started up. And for now, we are going to say, listen to data payload. We're going to fill in this checkout page, and then we should get all the information that we need. So let me do that right now and come back to you as soon as I'm done. Once done, we can say pay now. And now we're going to wait until we get towards the thank you page. You can see your order is being processed. It takes a few seconds and now we have an order creation. If we go back towards UChat, we should get the information from this order now. So if we press done, you will see that we have all the information that we just filled in. We have the contact email, we have the current subtotal pricing, right? The first thing that we need to do is to match all of this data, all of this customer data with the user inside of the chatbot. The way to do this is UChat when creating a draft order and sending the user towards the checkout, we are adding a note. Inside that note is the user NS ID. And if we want to map that, then we are able to do so really, really easily. So if we are going to preview the payload, we are able to map all the individual data points that we receive from the webhook. And if we scroll down towards the note section, you will have the user and SID of the person inside the chatbot. And as you can see, if you press this, you will have a certain JSON path. We can just copy this JSON path, just copy, and then we can use it to identify the user under the user and SID. We can just paste it right inside of here and then we have the identification all set up. The thing that we can do now is to, to map all the individual data points. So for example, we can map the order ID, right? So if we want to map the order ID towards this customer, we can easily do so by just mapping it towards a, any custom field that we want to. So in this case, we will just go with order ID and just press add. For the order that the user receives, that's a little bit of a different order. And that is actually called name. So if we scroll down towards the name section, this will be the order that the user receives on their email confirmation as well. So we can basically map this value as well. So for us, the backend order ID is needed to check the order inside of the backend of Shopify. And this one will be the order ID that a user will see, the customer will see. So we can map this as well. We can name this, for example, we can name this order ID customer. Can just map this towards a new custom field. 
and press add. So we can also map the subtotal pricing of the order and we can just map that to another custom field of our own choosing. And we can also map all the products inside of this order, if we need to, at least. We can basically just use the map response to custom field to save it as a JSON field. So if you need it, you can easily do so as well. The only thing that we are going to need to map now is the customer ID itself. And this customer ID you will find under the customer tab and you can just map this customer ID. So you can save and attach this towards this Shopify account ID, right? So let's save this as well. Now that we have set up all the data points that we want to map back, we can press save. We can now turn this webhook on and also choose our subflow. Our subflow will be the order confirmation. And we can now put this towards active. If we go towards the order confirmation itself, we can set up an order confirmation message. So you could have a simple order confirmation like this, something like we've received your order and below are your details. Order ID is the order ID for the customer. Order amount is the Shopify order total. You could also do this inside of a number field if you'd like to. Soon as we prepare your order, we will send you the shipping details. In order to make sure you can receive them, please press the button below. So this is specific towards Messenger to ensure that you are able to send the message towards the customer soon as you fulfilled the order and you want to send the tracking IDs by sending an OTN message towards the user. Especially if it takes several days to fulfill an order, you might need this OTN request. So inside this template, this OTN request has been added. If you don't need it, you can just remove it at your own discretion. Then soon as a user opts in for the notify me, then you can also send a confirmation message back. And for the contact support, you can set up a really simple flow or, or you can just enable live chat and notify a live chat agent that way. Important is that you also tag the user that an order has been completed. This way you will be able to set up an abandoned card flow inside of your chatbot as well to check whether or not a user has this tag. How to set up an abandoned card flow, we will show you inside the next video.